What's up, quarterback fans? Welcome to another QB Spotlight video. And today's breakdown is going to be our second breakdown over the uh, quarterbacks in the NFL draft. And we're going to talk about CJ Stroud. With, with, with this pro day going on today, or whenever you are watching this episode, it, it may have already happened, but his pro day is going to be starting in the next few hours as of the recording of the video. So I wanted to put out a quick video just going over some of the film of CJ Stroud. So we're going to dive into some film. You see some of the clips going on right now. Uh, we got about six or seven clips we're actually going to kind of break down and talk about in a bit more detail uh, and kind of talk about the different qualities, different traits that Stroud brings uh, to the quarterback room, right? So uh, reports about Stroud talking to the Panthers and talking to, you know, all these potential teams that need a quarterback. Uh, but for the sake of the video, we're just going to talk about his film, what he shows on film, right? So before we dive into the actual film and the breakdown, I just want to encourage y'all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback related content. We put out quarterback content weekly, whether it's breakdowns like this or, or quarterback interviews that we have on a weekly basis. Uh, so again, if you like the quarterback position, college football, all that fun stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel, right? So real quick with Stroud, the things I want to, to take away from this film we're going to watch is one, his ability to move within the pocket. There's a lot of qualities that Stroud has about him that probably get overlooked, but his ability to move within the pocket, uh, his ability to be patient, stand within the pocket, let the play develop and read the defense. I think those kind of keys lead to his, his ability to make accurate throws, right? So those are big main keys. He's also able to throw on the run. He also has a strong arm that we're able to see uh, to help him make some really tough throws. So there's a lot of things to like about Stroud. And then, of course, in this game against Georgia, you're able to see his athleticism, his ability to run, which we will show. So, again, we got about six or seven clips that we are going to break down in a bit more detail, uh, talking about these qualities that we that we kind of just, just discussed. I know you're seeing some of the clips right now, but uh, with all that said, let's go ahead and, and look at these videos and break it down in a bit more detail and talk about what Stroud brings to, to the table. And hopefully, by the time you're watching, he's already had a, had a killer pro day uh, and has shown out. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to the breakdown. First play of the game uh, for Stroud against Georgia. We'll, we'll, we'll watch it and break it down in a little detail because I think it's it's a good uh, example of a timing throw by, by Stroud. Good read, getting the ball out quick, right? So uh, it's going to be the same concept on both sides of the field. We're going to have a, a short comeback, and then we have a, a deeper one. And pre-snap read, something Georgia did a lot, where they would have, like, field side would be one coverage, right? So you can see, like, an off, off corner. And then boundary side, it looks like it's going to be man. Uh, but then they go into motion. You're going to see Georgia shifts into a different scheme here. Boom. And now you got a zone, right? So good job by CJ Stroud recognizing that, seeing this is where the hole is. The ball is already about to come out. And even though he's off coverage here, the DB's breaking a lot faster than, the, than what you might anticipate. So it's a good job by Stroud getting the ball out quickly. Good read, uh, good recognition of, of coverage, and the ball comes out quickly, right? This is an NFL throw. Not one of those schemed open receivers people always talk about. This is just a good read, good throw by Stroud. Here's a great play by Stroud that I really like. I think it's a good job keeping your eyes downfield and moving in the pocket here, right? So we see pre-snap look, boom, Georgia brings five. Moves in the pocket, hits the crosser across the field. Right, so a much tougher throw than than it, than it looks like. But I like the movement in the pocket by Stroud. Right, his eyes stay downfield. He knows, okay, this is my throwing lane essentially, and this is where the space is. So we got coming this way, DB coming this way, but there's no DB over here. That's exactly where you go with the ball. Throwing lane, boom. Good job by Stroud there. So again, eyes downfield. It's not a not a one read route there, right? It's a good job by Stroud being able to stay in the pocket and move and find that throwing link. We'll watch it here again. Again, opening drive here. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Moves in the pocket. Good. He knows that's where he wants to go right off the bat. Boom. Good job there. I mean, great, great job in the pocket making that throw. We got Stroud uh, d displaying his accuracy in a crossing route across the field here, right? Hits him in stride, able to get the first down. But I want to look at it before because th there's two potential reads here that Stroud probably has, right? One, he's planning uh, to go there the whole time, and so he's initially looking off um, these defenders here so he has space, right? That's the first option. The other option is this is his read side. This is where he's reading, and he sees it's not there, and he comes back to the back side, which is probably what happened, right? So it's a good job of him being patient in the pocket and coming back to his back side. He's reading here, doesn't have what he wants to have, so then he comes back to the back side, which is most likely what happens. Usually your back side route, uh, one route's trying to get in the vision of the of the quarterback, right, to, to, to the read side field. 
comes back comes back to the backside, hits his guy in stride, and gets a first down right now. Of course, he could be trying to go there the whole time and looking off the, 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 the defenders there, uh, but I think he's probably trying to read. This is probably his read side, and he's coming back to backside. Uh, so good job there reading the defense and, and coming back and being patient. Last drive of the game uh, for Stroud against Georgia. We'll go ahead and show the play. Uh, there's like 40-something seconds left. This was the one of the plays that kind of helped get them downfield and have them a chance to win the game. And so even though I know it's off coverage here, right? Oh, here's a play before. But even though I know this is off coverage, you're going to see like five Georgia DBs almost like the same distance back from the line of scrimmage, right? So you got, you know, you got something where it's, you know, thirds here, whether they ends up being quarters, you know, you got something. So the throw is obviously underneath. They're giving you that throw. But the out from the right hash of the field to the left side or, you know, from the opposite hash to the other side of the field is, toughest throw in football ball comes out now as the receiver breaks long ass throw boom boom uh so just a really good job really good throw there by by stroud showcasing arm strength and accuracy of course we'll watch it from the behind the center view but I always like showcasing these throws probably the hardest throw in football even if there's off coverage uh, again opposite half to the other side of the field good job there right so this is a, the, the the last probably clip we'll watch of stroud Stroud's first touchdown uh, pass against Georgia. Great job using his feet, right, to get outside and throw on the run. Again, nothing's there. I like, I like the fact that he's patient, right, trying to let the play develop. It just doesn't develop. It's a good job by the offensive line up front. Georgia does bring four. You got plenty of guys. You know, he's got six in. Running back chips, goes out in a route, boom, then opens right there. So, again, a good example by, by Stroud trying to let, let the play develop. The play's not there. Take it up, take off on your own, and make a play, which is exactly what he does. We'll watch this angle here. Boom, boom, boom. Goes into motion. Again, good job up front in this play. Got plenty of time. Just no one is open. Good defense by Georgia. No surprise. Throwing the run. Hell yeah. Touchdown. My favorite uh, play, probably. All year of Stroud uh, showcasing his athleticism and, and his his ability to run and use his legs, right? Um, again, something that he was kind of knocked on for whatever reason, uh, not being able to run. But, of course, he can run. It's just whenever he decides to do it. That's awesome, there, right? A lot of toughness being shown there as well. Uh, here's the, the behind the center angle. This was the fourth quarter of the game, right? So a big part of the game. Uh, this was huge, a huge play for them at the time. Again, we'll see here. Georgia brings pressure. Boom. Gets out and then showcases uh, some speed and athleticism and toughness. Gets upfield, takes a hit, boom, big first down. Stroud using his legs, right? So that, that's something that we talked about at the beginning of the video about people saying, ah, he's not a great runner, this and that. Well, he, he just is smart about when to run, right? He definitely can run. That's what he showcased during uh, the game against Georgia. So, again, it's not that he... Um, can't it says he is able to to beat you from within the pocket right uh, but a good example that if he needs to if he needs to use his legs he definitely can uh, especially when what nine guys drop back so it's going to be hard to to get an open receiver there but yeah just another, another example of him using his legs